okay so today topic is rectangle so uh, up to polygon previous day already completed up to polygon then today topic is rectangle okay so go to the rectangle now suppose here so chamfer elevation fillet thickness width okay so just click here one click then go to the area dimension rotation okay so first choose here area area suppose give it here 200 enter okay 200 enter then length or width suppose give here length so now length length is uh, suppose uh, 20 enter so now this one is created one rectangle so go to the dimension linear just click here and click here and click here so this one is 20 and now dimension linear also click here click here and click here so now this one is 10 okay this is the 20 and this is the 10 so the total area is 200 okay next also go to the rectangle just click here and go to the dimension just one click anywhere and then go to the dimension suppose 20 enter and 15 enter okay so that is the 20 and 15 so this one is 20 and this one is 15 next rectangle suppose click here this is the rotation so now this one is rotation suppose 45 enter so now this one is 45 degree angle okay so that is the 45 degree angle next also this one is 45 so just click here and go to the rotation option and zero enter so now this one is zero degree angle okay now this one is zero degree angle next also rectangle next is chamfer go to the chamfer option now chamfer distance suppose five enter six enter okay now click one point and click another point so which one is five and which one is six just go to the dimension linear just click here click here and click here so that is called five also dimension linear just click here click here and click here so that is the six okay then go to the dimension linear just click here click here and click here so this one is six so this one is five okay so if it is suppose sample distance 5 enter 6 enter so total sample distance how much 11 this one is 5 and this one is 6 so every line means this one is 6 cutting this one is 5 cutting also next this one is 6 cutting this one is 5 cutting so 6 and 5 means total uh, one line should be greater than 11 your sample distance uh, value summation should be less than means uh, line should be greater than from chamfer summation distance okay line should be greater than from chamfer uh, summation distance two distance suppose 5 plus 5 suppose so uh, one line every line should be greater than 10 okay so next rectangle just uh, go to the fillet option fillet suppose 5 enter so now this one is fillet 5 this one is 5 5 5 okay so that is the 5 next also rectangle elevation go to the elevation suppose give give here elevation 200 enter okay 200 enter so now this one is 200 okay how to check elevation go to the uh, isometric view okay from here also you can go view 3d view isometric view okay so now view orbit constant orbit just click here so now this one is 300 okay this one is 300 this uh, from xy plane to this uh, line is uh, uh, rectangle is 300 okay and now this one is go to the top so now this one is top option then also rectangle this is the elevation now thickness go to the thickness option suppose 50 enter okay 50 enter so now create one rectangle 
and go to the isometric view. So that is the 50. Okay, that is the 50. Next, suppose create here one rectangle. Okay, sir. Clear, create one uh, rectangle. Then width. Go to the width option and suppose 5 enter. So now you can create 5 rectangle, uh, width rectangle. Okay. So now everything is on here because width, uh, thickness, fillet, elevation all are on. Okay. So how to uh, come back in say, uh, simple rectangle? So go to the width option. Now on width, thickness, fillet, elevation shows here. Okay. So go to the width and zero enter. Go to the thickness and zero enter. Okay. Go to the fillet zero enter and go to the elevation zero enter okay then create one rectangle so now that is a rectangle okay now that is the rectangle next helix suppose on, on plus option means uh, create new page then go to the helix option so helix just go to the helix and specify center point. Suppose click here, okay, and specify base radius. Base radius, if it is choose here, suppose uh, radius 50 enter, okay, and then top radius, also top radius 50 enter, and helix height, okay, helix height, suppose here uh, 50. So, suppose give it here 3 to 4 times height. Suppose uh, 200 enter. So, that is the height. Then, suppose choose here and isometric. So, that is the helix. Okay. Choose here and isometric. Then, view here. Rotate. How to rotate? View, orbit and constant orbit. Just rotate here. So, that is the helix. Okay. Means coil spring. This one is cylindrical because... Uh, I was put uh, top radius and bottom radius are same. Okay. Then go to the top option. So now this one is this. Then go to the helix also. You can choose here. Suppose uh, this one is if it is choose diameter. So put it here diameter here. And also uh, by default this one is radius choose here. Okay. So now. Suppose choose here 50 base radius and top radius suppose 100. Okay. Top radius suppose 100 and helix height uh, suppose 300. Okay. So now this one is look like this. Go to the isometric view. So that is the look like this. Just rotate, shift and scroll. Also you can rotate. Uh, in keyboard space shift and from mouse scroll. So now this one also rotate. So that is the. Another type of helix means uh, conical, not cylindrical. Okay. Then suppose go to the helix option here. Also select here how to control means turns. Okay. So base radius, suppose give base radius, suppose 50 enter. Also give suppose uh, top radius, suppose also 50 enter. Here, heli turn height, twist, turns, and axis endpoint. All things are there. You can put also uh, helix height. So, just keep it uh, all the by default. Okay. So, go to the turns option. By default, three turns are there. Okay. If it is choose here, 10. Okay. And then helix height, suppose 300. Okay. 300. Then, how to look like this? Uh, go to the isometric view. So now this one is look like this. So turns will be more. Okay. Turns will be more. Then go to the top portion. Also go to the helix. Just click here. And base radius also 50. And top radius also 50. And then suppose turn height. Suppose turn height by default 30. So, give it here suppose 50. So, now this one is 50 and suppose this one is 200. Okay. So, now you can create a select. So, now this one is turn height is 50. 
okay between uh, means one turn to another turn is 50 distance then also go to the top also go to the helix option and then suppose select here so that is the base radius also same 50 enter also top radius 50 enter okay then twist suppose this one is clockwise or anti clockwise means clockwise twisting is started or anti clock means counter clockwise ccw means counter clockwise and cw means clockwise okay just choose as per your requirement and axis endpoint this is the axis okay axis endpoint just look like this and go to the isometric view so now this one is helix is in the inclined portion okay in the inclined portion clear just as per your axis draw this one is created here okay just select here diameter suppose here uh, radius 50 also top radius also 50 then axis endpoint okay axis endpoint just as per your requirement okay suppose give it here uh, ortho mode is on so now this one is uh, only state only horizontal and vertical will produce okay so now suppose 353 suppose give it here 400 so now this one is 400 so go to the isometric view so now this one is 400 okay so now this one is 400 so helix will complete okay next arc suppose three point arc just click here okay ortho mode is off now so now this one is three point means three three point is required okay where arc will be passed next start center end so that is the start point center point and now end point okay next start center angle suppose here start point this is the center point and now this is the angle okay angle means always anti clockwise next start center length suppose start point center point and now length so now uh, by keyboard you can put also length or you can just select here okay now arc start end angle so now this one is start point this one is end point and now this one is angle okay next start end direction suppose this one is start point okay this one is end point and that is the direction next start end radius suppose start point this one is end point and this is the radius okay so that is the start end radius next center start end suppose center point it is a start point now this one is end point next center start angle so now suppose this one is center point first point is the center point then start point and then give angle angle means this one is uh, anti-clockwise angle next center start length so first point is the center point then start point and then length okay and the last one is continue continue means from last uh, created arc this one is continue portion will be created okay so that is continue in this page next is circle suppose circle this one is center and radius okay so first point is the center point and then give radius suppose here uh, 50 enter so now this one is 50 50 is the radius then circle center diameter suppose center point and then choose here diameter suppose 75 so now 75 is the diameter next 
circle two points okay one point and two points so that is the two point circle next three point one two three three point circle next ten ten radius okay this one is tangent this one also tangent okay and give some radius suppose 200 enter so now this one is the uh, these two circle tangent and 200 uh, radius will be created for this circle okay next circle 10 10 10 so now this one is tangent this one also tangent this one also tangent so that is a that is called 10 10 10 okay so all are tangent so from today for today this uh, up to circle will be end of the uh, today course so from uh, next video from do not will be created okay